Welcome back. Now, you've all heard the joke. In Canada, there are two seasons. There's winter and there's construction. I, I still think that's funny, though. It is okay. funny because it's true. Well, this summer, we met a construction crew that was given the challenge of repairing a bridge without closing any lanes to traffic or even disturbing the natural environment below that bridge. It took some innovative thinking, but Daily Planet was there to see how they tackled it. As cars pass over this bridge, chances are the drivers have no idea of the magic happening below. This construction crew is going to lift an entirely new bridge right underneath this old one without disturbing any traffic. There's millions of dollars riding on making sure everything works right and, and uh, we get this lifted today. Steve Matthews is the wizard overseeing this construction sleight of hand. This section of highway is one of the busiest sections in southern Ontario and metropolitan Toronto, so the Ministry of Transportation did not want any road closures for any of this rehabilitation work to take place. This bridge, built in the 1920s, has been patched many times, but now it needs a full overhaul. The new bridge being lifted today will allow workers to fully refurbish it from below. As if that isn't enough of a challenge, Steve's had to contend with another issue. This project had a lot of restrictions and site conditions that uh, had to be adhered by to not disturb any of the environment. We were only allowed one specific area of work, which was kind of the natural location. The Port Credit River and the marshes here are full of wildlife. Ever seen a deer swim before? And the river is in constant use. So Steve's crews had to build the bridge without damaging this pristine area. We basically built this entire structure in one assembly area and launched it across the entire floodplain and river without ever really accessing any of those areas, thus not causing any environmental impact um, while building this structure. Now that it's built, it's time to do the big lift. Any problem, anything, you just say stop. Jean-Pierre Bousse is here from France. He brought the technology to help Steve lift this monstrosity. Uh, lifting the bridge with uh, 10 jacks because the bridge is about uh, 840 tons. This is what the calculation we made. And uh, these jacks can support 140 tons. The jacks will be doing the heavy lifting, but these relatively tiny devices play a critical role in making sure nothing slips away. This is the grip because this cable, we call it strand. So when we will pull, this will be catch like that and it cannot slide and the jack the, the strand will move up. As the bridge moves up, they're constantly making sure it stays level. We will start lifting all same jack, same level, same force, and uh, every two stroke we will stop, check again the, the dimension to see if we're still on the range of the specification. I've got iron workers up at every point monitoring the tops of all the strand jacks, lubricating them, you know, keeping the strands out of the way of the bridge as it's being lifted and just, you know, checking all the guides as, as this bridge walks itself up. It's one huge levitation stunt that could be disastrous if just one thing goes wrong. It, it's possible that you, you could have some fatiguing, cracking, you know, deviations, bending, anything like that if you weren't lifting at, at the proper elevation. Three hours and eight and a half meters later, the bridge is safely in place. The river's untouched by construction and the traffic keeps moving as it always has. Super interesting job to be able to be lifting up 900 feet of bridge simultaneously all at once underneath uh, an existing highway with live traffic going over us. No one's got any idea what's going on underneath them. Steve's next trick, use this bridge to bring in all the equipment to repair the old bridge from below. Okay, go ahead, this bridge repair is turning out to be an illusion that all drivers can appreciate. 